Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to sow seeds in flats. A flat is a container uh, like this. Uh, a lot of times we put six packs um, in here to capture the water. Um, but today we're gonna to actually sow, we're gonna put soil right into the flat and then we're gonna plant some seeds. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that uh, you fill up your flat with the right growing medium. What we're using here is about 50% perlite, which is these little white flakes. It's a mineral called perlite. And 50% peat, peat moss. So we got perlite and peat moss in here. Uh, this doesn't have a lot of nutrients, but you remember during germination, we don't need a lot of nutrients in order to uh, get these seeds to germinate. We just need water. Um, sometimes we need light. And we just need a good uh, surface that's going to absorb the water and allow some air pockets in here. So peat moss and perlite is the best solution that I've found for most seed germination processes. So you make sure that you have plenty of soil in here with the perlite and the peat moss and that it's level. And you can see that it's just under the lip. You don't need it overflowing. Okay, just, uh, just under the lip so that water can't escape. Also make sure that your perlite and your peat moss is moist before you start because if it's not moist the water that you water this with is just going to sit on top and you don't want that. You want the water to infiltrate. So the best way to get it to infiltrate in is to actually moisten the soil before you even start. So this soil is pretty moist. All right. The next step is to figure out how many rows you need. So we're going to do it uh, horizontally like this, we're gonna put in our rows. So I think we're gonna have about six rows of seeds in this flat. So what I do is I take a ruler. So watch how I do this. I'm not making holes, I'm taking a ruler and I'm making rows. So I just make a row here with a little bit of an indentation and another one here and another one here and another one here. and you do it for how many rows you need, usually six or seven rows. This is one, two, three, four, five, six rows. You can see there. Okay, so I'm ready to plant my seeds. All right, and uh, usually we use small seeds for this process. Um, you can see these are poppies, very small. And so I put some in my left hand or maybe you could put it in a, like a peachy dish or a cap uh, and grab it with my right hand and I'm just gonna, as I move across the planting area, I'm just gonna go like this, and you can see them fall out, right? That's what we're trying to do here um, with these small seeds, because we have so many of them. Eventually, we're gonna separate them out, but we just want them to get them to germinate, so. And watch, I'm gonna just sprinkle them in as we go, not too thick, but not too thin. Eventually, we're gonna separate these all out but we just want to get them to germinate so there you go see try to get it as even as possible and in the depression as possible all right because these are so small we're not going to bury them all we're going to do is gently gently press them into the soil just to make contact with the soil that's all you're doing just pressing them into the soil. You're not pushing down really hard, you're just lightly pressing them. You're trying to get them to make contact with the soil. And then we take our perlite, which is our mineral here, and we're gonna spread it on top. Watch this. Okay, that way they're covered a little bit, but also we know that we've just sown in this area. So it's perfect. Okay, there you go. Once you get all of these in, you can give it a good water. Um, you're not gonna water by a uh, little drippy. You're gonna spray the whole thing just to get it moist, just to get the seeds moist. You don't wanna douse this with too much water. Just get the top layer moist. That's all we need is the seed to be moist. Oh, and don't forget your label. All right, final thing we need to do is make a label so we know which plant is which. We're not gonna use this whole label. 
because if we put that in there, it's just gonna stick out too much. We don't need it. So we're gonna use half of that. So cut in half, doesn't matter which half you use. And remember how we label. First we put the date. Today is whatever date it is. And then your initials. And then which plant it is. And when you bake this, make sure you write from the top down, okay? Let's see. And leave a space at the bottom because that's where it's gonna be buried. So we can't write all the way down to the bottom. Just leave a space. So here's my label. You can see uh, the date, my initials, and it says Hungarian poppy. So I'm gonna put that in right here where I planted, and I'll show you what it looks like. And voila, there we go. We got our seeds planted. We got the perlite on top, and we got a beautiful label that I can read without having to pull this out too much. I can see that's Hungarian poppy. I can see the date and my initials. Uh, that's what we want for one for all six rows, right? A label for all six rows. Hey, that's how you do it, you guys. All right, good luck.